as we start our morning session this day, we ask the presence of our God as we pray. Dear God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classrooms with peace. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our friendships with kindness. And fill our school with love. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Okay, can we practice starting today in your class, in every class when teacher greet you good morning, good day, or good afternoon, you also greet them back, okay? So for today's lesson, the focus is with three-dimensional shapes. If last time or yesterday, I asked you to draw your two-dimensional shapes like triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, and the like. And also, I ask you to identify different kinds of 2D shape around you. So today, the focus is all about three-dimensional shapes. Today's KUD will be, you should recognize what are the 3D shapes. Understand that geometric shapes and vocabularies are useful for representing, describing objects and events in real-world situation. Also, you should determine the parts of 3D shape. So 3D shapes around us. Let us recall, can you give example of 3D shapes around you? Nicole? Cone. 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 Okay, what else? Can you name different kinds of 3D shape around you? Example, this spray is an example of rectangular prism or a cuboid i have here it's like a cylinder these are shapes around you in real life can you name another examples of 3d shapes or let's say a table a table the the legs of the table are like long cuboid Okay, long cuboid. The legs of the table are cuboid. What else? Thank you, Olivia. So 3D shapes are like... Sometimes it's a cuboid. Sometimes it's a cylinder. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can see it's a cylinder. Okay, good. Another one, another example. A pen. A pen can be an example of a 3D shape, right? What kind of 3D shape? Cylinder. 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 On this side, I have examples of 3D shape like cube, a pyramid, a cylinder, a sphere, a cone, rectangular prism, also known as cuboid, a prism, triangular, pentagonal, and then hemisphere. On this side, I have the names of the 3D shape, the picture of it, and also examples in real life. Look at this picture. What is an example of sphere? Sphere is a beach ball, isn't it? Cylinder, there is a canned good, like a tomato soup. Rectangular prism is a gift box, sometimes that we receive during Christmas, holidays, or birthdays. Now, I want you to look at this picture, the different parts of a 3D shape. What are the main parts? Can you name what are the parts of a 3D shape? Uh, face. Face, what else? Side, okay. Yes. Again. Edges. Edges. Now, what is the difference between face, edges, and vertices? Face is shape, survey. Edge are the lines shaped meant where two face 
meet. Mm -hmm. Verticals are the place where three or more ages meet. Okay, very good. What else? Anyone who can define what are, who can describe or differentiate faces, edges, and vertices? Describe or what teacher? A different shade or describe? If faces, faces have shapes so base edge and where two faces meet each other. If verticals uh, ha, uh, where three or more edges meet. Okay. Now for this one, if I'm going to show you their differences and similarities, when you say shape, when you say faces, it's a shape. And then it depends on what kind of 3D shape we have. Example here, what is the shape of the face? The shape is a square. square. Isn't it? So remember that the face is always a shape. Next, what can you say with the edges? edges edges are line so remember that any edges is always a line a line that is either vertical a horizontal or diagonal and then lastly this is a vertex or vertices vertices are dot or other term for dot we call it a point Okay, so I want you to remember the following parts, faces, edges, vertices. Again, faces are shapes, edges are line, vertices are dot or point. Okay, clear? Yeah. Next slide. So imagine... Pyramids are the largest structures on earth for thousand years. Are you familiar with pyramids? Are you able to watch a movie, a show wherein they show or they feature pyramids? As in National Geographic. Now, why do you think people in early civilizations build pyramids? Any idea? Share your thought. Because they need... Uh, um, because in Egypt they use pyramids to as tombs to shelter the dead body of their pharaoh or their leader. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you for sharing. What else? What else? Why do you think so? They use pyramids or they build pyramids? Uh, so they can. Uh make things like easier mm -hmm. okay now which country is known for pyramids egypt so the country that is known for pyramid is the egypt for today's simple activity we begin here with name my parts or identify the parts and then we fill the table with the following number of faces Number of edges, number of vertices. I'm going to label the following as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can use the chat box to give me the answer. About pyramid, a while ago, someone told me here in the chat box that she know that nobody can see the inside of pyramid. And one of the pyramids is owned by King Khufu and his wife. Okay, let's continue. 
Using the chat box, message me. You can choose any number. Identify the number of faces, number of edges, number of vertices. Choose how many number, teacher? Yeah, you can choose any number. Oh, just choose one number or how many? It's up to you. Number, teacher. Counting the edges is so hard, teacher. So you have enough time to do it before I reveal all the answers. Teacher, I send you the number one at the chat box. Write it in chat, right? Yep. Okay, let's try. One technique here is that what is the base of number one? What is the shape of the base of number one? Number one was the base. The base is a triangle. How many sides are there in a triangle? There are three. So it means there are three faces that forms a triangle plus another base, which is also a face. So therefore, there are four. Three sides as in one, two, behind it is three, and then below it, four. Number of edges. Number of edges. How many edge one two three four five and then behind it there are six and then vertices you count the points where two lines meet we have one two three four you may try any number Keep answering. The base will help you to identify how many faces are there. A cube, how many faces? are one, Six. two, three, and then four, and then above and below, so there are six. How I many? The net count. Okay. You can use the nets. How many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, there are 12. And then lastly, we count how many vertices. Eight vertices. There are eight vertices. Okay. You can choose answering numbers two, four, five, six, seven. Go. Number two, the square pyramid. There are five faces. There are mm -hmm. eight edges. And then vertices, five. Uh, can you tell me the difference between a cuboid and a cube? Boy is longer than the cube. Cube. How about its faces? How many faces are there in a cuboid? The same with cube, teacher. The same uh, with six. Cube. 
Six. Again. How about edges? You boy and twelve. There are twelve. And then lastly, how many uh, vertices? There's also eight. For cuboid and cube, they are the same except that the cuboid is longer than the cube. Okay. I saw an answer here for number seven, hexagonal prism. How many sides are there in a hexagon? How many sides? There are six sides. It means there are six sides for the faces. Plus, how many bases? There are two. So six plus two, eight. From the answer of Valencia, it's correct. Now, we count the number of edges of a hexagon. There are six sides. And then six sides for top bottom, so times two. That's 12. And then there are six sides also, repeat. So six plus eight, that is 18. And then we count the vertices. On the base, there are six. And then since there are two bases, that becomes 12. Number five, faces from the answer of Reina. Number five, there are five faces. Three sides, faces, and then two bases. And we count the number of edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then vertices, one, two, three, four, five, there are six. Okay, last one, number six. Who wants to try? Uh, six, uh, seven faces. In chat, teacher. Seven faces. How many sides? Fifteen edges. Fifteen. Fifteen. And then how many vertices? Ten. Ten. Now, can you see any technique how to identify this one? This part. And also this part. Without counting, they simply identify the, num the base of the shape. What is the base? The base is a square, right? Or it's four-sided, just multiply it by two. Can you try? What is four times two? Eight. Eight. What is the base of the triangular prism? How many sides? Um, Three, isn't it? Three. Now double it. Six. Mm -hmm. Okay, now prism, how many sides? Pentagon? Uh, one, five. Two, five. Now double it. Ten. Ten. Lastly, hexagon. There are six sides times two. two. Twelve. It's twelve. Okay, lastly, how about this part? What's the technique? This time, same basis. What is the base here? Six, five, three, four. I will be multiplying it with what number to get these answers in red? Three. three. I will multiply it by three. 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 <laughs> okay. 
Okay, that's it. How about here? How many sides? Four, three, five, six. So this is add two. Add two. Add two. Yeah, that's correct. Add two. Add two to get the number of faces. But this is only applicable for a prism. Okay. Question? It's only applicable for any prism. Clear? Cube can or not cube? A cube can. Do I hear any question? Okay, that is a 3D shape. Now, here's my task. I want to you to look around you. And then get something that represents a 3D shape. Any 3D shape. Look around you and then get something that yeah. represents a 3D shape. Okay? Ken? Okay. okay go. Boxes around me. Anything around you Boxes that represents a 3D shape? Uh, sorry for the Bahasa Indonesia because I we are have literally just now we, we are having problems getting in because we really cannot get in. So it's okay, yeah, Dila. Class. Mm -hmm. Okay, my instruction is around you, look something around you and then get anything that represents a 3D shape. <clears throat> Ready? Here is mine. What shape is this? Cuboid. Cuboid. Okay, show me your shape. Show it on the camera. What is that, Abby? Um, uh, what? Yeah, yeah. What shape is it's that? It's a place to put tissue. Okay, tissue box. How about yeah. yours, Nicole? Me, Peter. Dira, what's that? What shape? Glue stick. Glue stick, a cylinder. Cylinder. When Olivia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, hard drive docking station. The box. The box. Brayden. For putting pencils or stuff. Okay, what shape is it? Cylinder. Cylinder. Okay, I want you to hold your shape. Valencia, where is yours? What shape is it? Cylinder. Cylinder, okay. And then Maritza, what is it? Cylinder. Okay, now here is your task. Or Charlene, what is that? Is that a mini tumbler? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, now. Mm -hmm. well, okay, this is your activity for the rest of 15 minutes. I prefer a 3D shape that has the following edges, faces, vertices. Can everyone listen to teacher first? I will discuss to you what are going to do. Think of any 3D shape, preferably with edges, faces, vertices. 
example is a cuboid like this. But if you don't have any shape like that, you can use here. Yeah, okay, it's okay with me to use cylinder or any any other shape. Now, what you're going to do is to take a picture of that object and then create something like this. Up to here. Can we just only. draw it, teacher? Can we just draw it? Draw? If you can draw that, what is that shape of yours? Yeah, just draw the 3D shape rather than taking a picture and creating and everything. Uh, but it should be a real life object. We make in the paper like that, Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Okay, okay, let me change it. Instead of taking a picture as suggested, I think that would be better. Choose your any 3D shape. And then show the parts like this. But of course, since my example is a cube, you're not allowed to use cube. You can use cuboid, triangular prism, pentagonal prism, or any prism. Okay, show the vertices, the edges, sure. and faces. Yes? Uh, uh, we have to print. Uh, uh, you, to print. you can draw. Isn't it you're going to draw? Um, so, yes. so we can do either. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you have it's both including 3D. It's yeah, both. it's a 3D. It's oh, a yes, cuboid. Yes, a uh, teacher? Yes. Uh, 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 the. <laughs> okay, you can do it. Teacher, you can do that. The, like we draw already the parts uh, like that, and then the middle one can have the the thing. Can we make it real life? It's okay. Let's say this one you put your tissue box like that, or a shoe box. You can do it digital or you can draw. Can? Okay, go. Okay. Teacher, but after this, we still have to send picture, right? Isn't it you're going to draw, Valencia? No. No, not yeah. Well, are you going to do it digital? Use a normal paper and digital. Teacher okay. has to draw, right? So confused, like. Yeah, it's either you will draw or you can take a picture and then from that picture, you identify what are the different parts. Yes? That one, yeah, we must do it now, yeah? Normal paper, yeah? Any paper, normal paper, or you can use paper? Can I do it or not? Can I do it or not? Can, can, can. Can you use app on that Again? Can we do it in app or in one app? Yeah, it's up to you if you know how to use that app. Teacher, we can use anything, right? Mm -hmm. Must finish now, Edgar. Again? Must finish now, yeah. Uh, not exactly. For as long as you are going to start it now so that you can finish it early and you will post that on the class dojo. I want to do it with big paper so later <laughs> At least you start, you have idea what to do. Okay, example here. Here's my picture. We just need to write which the face do that one is. Yeah, you identify which part is the face. Let's say... Teacher, can I draw something like that? But I, I didn't color. 
Like just use a pencil. It's okay. But if you have time, you may put some colors to make it uh, presentable. I have a lot of time, but I like to use pencil more. Okay. If I want to draw something. Okay, sure. Okay, parts of my shoebox. Okay, I did identify the face, the face, vertex, and edge already, teacher. Done already? Yeah. Okay, you can post that. I'll create a portfolio. Yeah. Where's the PPT? For a while. So there is a portfolio here, the Clash Dojo, where you will post your activity or work. Okay, teacher. Well, I cannot post anything, teacher, because I don't have Clash Dojo. Why? I don't, I don't have my phone and I, yeah, that's it. I didn't pass you. You can submit that later when your mom comes. Yeah. And then, then I'm just checking it. Teacher, the title is Parts of 3D Shape, yeah. Yeah. So it already. Okay, what is this vertex? I don't understand why is this vertex, teacher. Vertex. Which one? On my example? Yeah. On the part of my shoe box, vertex. This one, this point. Vertex. Oh. Where three lines meet. Teacher, 
Sir. Yes. The title is parts of 3D shape, yeah. Where you will post your a work? Here. No, the title, the title of the work, not not in class. Those are the title. Ah, okay. It's up to you. Okay, I'm done everything. Literally, I cannot move. So, I'm useless. Again? I'm useless. Why? I can't post in class dojo. It's okay. I finished. As long as you can submit it. I can't. But not, but not only today or with this period. <laughs> Can I do an example? If we do it later, what do we do later? Again, dear uh, Brayden, what is it? If the one who do it later, what do we do now? You decide what to do later. I decide my my shape. What is your shape? The, the what? The, the triangular prism. Prism. What is your example of triangular prism? Just draw, teacher. I just draw. Just draw, okay. Need to color it, teacher. Only right. Mm -hmm. For me. Okay, Derek. Derek. Derek, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, I want you to do something like this. Choose any. 3D shape. Again? Just now I cannot join. It's okay. Can you show? Can you see the screen? Derek. Yes. Okay. I want you to do something like this. Take a picture of any 3D shape around you. Yeah. And then I want you to label the vertex, vertices or vertex, the edge and the face. Okay. Oh, we just write vertex H and the face right down, eh? Mm hmm Oh, okay. Mm. Done? Mm. So if I make a tissue, the box one, can. Can. And then just label which is the vertex, which is the edge, and which is the face. Information, yeah, but. Okay. We need to write the this one, it's like this. We need to write like 
context, blah, 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 that one. Yeah, you need to identify. What do we write after we write like the face and then what teacher, what do we write? You put the name of your uh, object. Okay. I'll be waiting for your work on the class dojo. You can submit it any time of the day. Now it's already time. You need to take your lunch. Okay. We end it with the prayer. As we pray, say, Dear God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classrooms with peace. Fill our lessons with fun. And fill our... Ah, so it's an opening prayer. Okay. Anyway, we close it as we say, Thank you for all the things you have learned today. Amen. Good day, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bye. Mr.